Hello friends, welcome back to Falcon RC and this is just going to be a quick video to show you the difference between this F3 and that one Okay guys, uh, even though they both is the same design basically, uh, same blueprints uh, they were actually built different uh, and you know there is a, a pro and a con you know on, 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 the, on the build of these two planes the, the original ones, the I build thinking on speed basically uh, the wings part on this thing is a carbon fiber square uh, you'll see it down here on the bottom actually did not went all the way into the wing because it's a little bit thicker so just what you see on the bottom right here are the wings uh, the leading edge are, are reinforced with base wood uh, let me see if I this hardwood, this one is too thick though. This one doesn't doesn't say it on it. But anyway, it's hardwood. Uh, it, it was one fourth of an inch thick, and it's a little bit harder, you know, to send around than the regular balsa wood. But it's worth it when it comes to strength. You know, the leading edge has hardwood on it. The trailing edge has balsa wood, and the alerons are made out of balsa wood, guys. These alerons are balsa wood. And because I was gonna put uh, CA hinges on this thing, I actually put a, the trailing edge on the aileron. It has a balsa wood too, so I can slide the C, CA hinges on it. I have done before, you know, balsa to foam just by taping it, and it works pretty good too, but the balsa wood that he does add some strain to the aircraft. And this really made a huge difference, guys. Uh, before I even put this tape that you see on it, uh, this airplane was rock solid. I mean, if I hold it by the hip of the wind, you see there is barely any flexion on this wing, and you can see the airplane holding a strong itself. You know, I can shake it probably. See, it, it, it just holds its shape, guys, because it's, it's reinforced very well. <laughs> uh, so it, it won't matter. You know, the higher speed, you know, the motor I'm using right now, it will be good for it, and I can even go with a more powerful motor, and the wings are still gonna hold its shape. Uh, that is great, you know, for high speed, but because all the weight, you know, of the reinforcement, uh, it came out a little bit too, uh, not too heavy, but, you know, heavier, and, you know, it, which is good for high speed, you know, you want a heavy plane to fly fast, but when it comes to for landings, you know, it has to come in a little bit hot, you know, you can't use cut the power and let it glide down. You know it's too much it will do it but you, 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 you just can't do it for too long you know now this one right here the last one that you saw me building uh it is a graceful plane to fly slow it flies very nice and slow because it's a lot lighter it's eight ounces lighter on the same power system and same batteries it's eight ounces different but i compromise the strain of the wings on the speed so this will be great the way I build this one the way you just saw the video how I build this one will be great for like a micro jet from Grayson Hobbies you know uh, something that is not gonna be too fast because I try with the same power setup and my wings shake too much the reason for this is because the carbon the the wind braces I'm using on it are windshield wipers wires and I did not use the right ones I used the one that were very thin and my wings were flexing too much so actually I went and put a carbon fiber uh, uh, a strip I guess you call it in here inside the wings on the top all the way across that actually helped me and the wings are a little bit stronger but it's still not as good and my leading edge is actually balsa wood too which does flex more than hardwood trailing edge is balsa wood and my alerons are foam with balsa wood on the trailing edge uh, this wing actually flex a little bit more guys you, you can see right here you can see the flex the flexible the wing right there uh, which doesn't happen with a silver one like I said this one is nicer on a slower speeds you know because you can fly just gracefully around you know very nice and you can cut your power high on the air and just let it glide down uh, something that you cannot do with this one but when it comes to speed you want a reinforced aircraft and you know when you are going to fly slow just be, build it simple and and you will be okay but I really needed, needed to tell you this guys because I know some of you are already probably start the build of this plane and you're probably thinking I'm going super fast so make sure this aircraft is reinforced I really recommend the balsa wood alerons because they really add a strength to this wind right here and the trailing edge uh, 
hardwood and the wing spar make sure to use a, a, a strong wing spar like i say on this thing i'm using a carbon fiber square so a carbon fiber a carbon tooth it should be okay too you know but make sure to get it all the way to the wind tips and something that it really doesn't, doesn't matter but uh the, the my vertical stabilizers these ones are balsa these ones are balsa wood guys right here and these ones are fun but that didn't make any difference really it actually just made the plane lighter that one uh, again, the plane is a little bit heavy compared to a lighter plane, but the heavy plane with all the reinforce on it can go faster than the lighter plane. <laughs> so, okay, guys, uh, thank you for watching, my friends. Uh, just a little quick show right here. I already got a pilot on the Falcon 25, and I actually already flew it, guys, with the pilot in it, and it's just that's pretty good. Looks like this pilot mm, knows how to fly. <laughs> it actually landed better than I did. <laughs> so okay my friends uh thank you for watching guys uh, i hope this helped you a little bit uh like i say i'm gonna get the video of this how i did this pretty soon i've really been busy lately right now because we have benjamin's birthday coming up the 14th of february so i'm gonna be busy this whole you know time so okay my friends uh thank you for watching subscribe see you next fly